Our charts, whether they be the fancy new electronic type or the old school paper ones, clearly mark out all areas that offer a danger to aviation. Some are pretty obvious like transmitter masts, high intensity radio emitters and small arms and military ranges. However, there's one fairly innocuous looking small red ring that's always been a bit of a mystery to me as to what it is and how it could possibly affect the safety of my flight up to nearly half a mile above it. Welcome to Shortfield, a channel all about the lighter side of aviation and today we're taking a look at the GVS or gas venting station so buckle up because here we go. The UK's national transmission system or NTS for short is the network of mainly underground gas pipelines that supply gas to about 40 power stations and large industrial users as well as to gas distribution companies that supply commercial and domestic users like you and me with natural gas from terminals situated on the coast. The network covers the whole of Great Britain and other countries have similar networks and setups for their gas supply needs. To help maintain pressure, temperature and flow in the NTS system there are 25 compressor stations spread throughout the network and these are the sites that are marked on the charts and deemed as a danger to aviation. They are usually placed at junctions in the network piping and are often sited well away from residential areas. However, as airfields are also found in similar geographical locations, don't be surprised if you have one near your airfield. Hopefully, not bang on the downwind leg of the circuit as is the case at Duxford. So, why are they dangerous to us? Surprisingly, they have a link to aviation, as they are mostly powered by the venerable Rolls-Royce Avon gas turbine, which is set at the heart of the compressor station. It is fuelled by burning some of the gas it is compressing, and the hot exhaust from the turbine is directed into the air via ducting, which can cause turbulence immediately above the site when the compressor is running. As part of their operations, in maintaining pressure and for servicing the network, on occasion, they may also have to vent pure, colourless and smokeless natural gas at very high pressure. This is directed skyward and directly above the site. Whilst venting, there will be major turbulence, especially to light aircraft. It can also have a detrimental effect on turbine-powered aircraft. The danger area allocated to them has a fairly small footprint, usually less than a mile in diameter, but can have a vertical restriction of over 3,000 feet which just goes to show you just how seriously powerful this process is. Wind and prevailing conditions will affect the area of turbulence, but the marked vertical and lateral dimensions will denote the area of highest danger. If you've ever flown over one of these by accident and not felt anything, then you're lucky, because this is not an operation that happens regularly. But if it does, there will be no warning and it could really upset your day. So do yourself a favour and avoid overflying these at any time. They're a listed danger area, so should be respected. And after all, they're usually only half a mile or so in diameter and easily routed around. So that does it for this short episode. What's your thoughts on these and do you have one near where you fly? Or do you know someone that works at one? Please pop your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear about your thoughts, experiences or recommendations and I'll try to read every comment. Thank you so much for watching, I've really enjoyed making this video and these GVS sites will definitely be respected by me in future. If you'd like to see more content like this please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so I can let you know next time I upload a video. Hopefully you found this video interesting but please note I'm not an instructor and this is all based on my personal experience as a private pilot in the UK. Fly safe guys and short filled out.